Hemodialysis acts as an artificial kidney by removing waste and excess fluid from the body using a machine when the kidneys are not working efficiently. The process of dialysis includes blood being pulled out from the patient's body, pumping the blood through a filter and cleansing it of wastes and toxins, and then returning the cleansed blood back to the patient's body. In patients receiving chronic dialysis, this process is often repeated about three times a week and each session can last between two to five hours. In order for a patient to receive dialysis, they need proper access to a large enough vein for proper blood flow. There are three options, a central venous catheter, an AV fistula, and an AV graft. A central line is an IV catheter where the tip ends in the superior vena cava. This is used for temporary vascular access only and used in urgent or emergent situations. An AV fistula is the joining of a vein and artery, which increases the blood flow to the vein, making it larger and stronger over time, making it suitable for repeated needle insertions for dialysis. This gives the patient permanent access for dialysis without needing an IV, but maturation of the fistula takes between 8 to 12 weeks. And an AV graft is a connection between a vein and artery using a surgically placed tube. The maturation of this only takes two to three weeks, but lasts around two to three years and has a higher risk of infection and clotting than a fistula. Let me know if you'd like a part two and check out the whole study sheet in the Nursing School Success Bundle.